The so-called outcome document drafted and negotiated in March, then adopted on the first day of the UN convention, hindered any real debate or international reform. The UN was accused of allowing repressive countries like Egypt and Russia to exert undue influence on the document's creation, resulting in the lack of a ban on the death penalty and no reference to harm reduction. Consequently, leaders of the Global Commission on Drug Policy, including Virgin Group founder Richard Branson, called the UN session a failure. Branson said the process was fatally flawed from the beginning and that it may already be too late to revive the international drug control system. The commission further urged that governments decriminalize all drugs. With its glaring limitations, as well as the diverse range of state drug policies, it was clear the UN special session wasn't going to create a more effective and consistent international drug framework. Instead, member nations used the convention to promote and justify their wide range of drug policies and rationalize their fit with the vague UN treaties.